If you want all the benefits of a power rack, but you do not have the space for one, or if you've ever thought, wouldn't it be great to have a power rack that could be transported easily? Well, we might have just found the answer for you. The ATX 800 series squat stands are just not your ordinary run of the mill squat stands. As you can see, they're massive. This makes a whole world of difference for stability. Secondly, as you can see, they open the door for all the different ATX attachments that are available. It is important that I emphasize now that these aren't cheap, but for the right person who has these sort of specific needs, they are worth every penny. Not a lot of squat stands can do what these ones can. The ATX squat stands are made from 80 by 80, three mil thick steel tube. 75 by 75 is normally the top end of steel used in these sorts of applications. The extra size probably does not make a, a whole lot of difference to, to most people. However, it's not until you actually see the 80 by 80 in the flash that you'll get a true appreciation of the sheer size and the, the stability that it offers and it just looks impressive. To make them even more beefier, ATX have used their M20 hardware. These bolts require a 30 mil socket which sort of gives you an indication of the size. So combined with the reinforcement backing plates, these would have to be some of the most structurally sound squat stands on the market. I'm 90 kilos and... So lucky for you, they've got wheels at the back because each stand weighs 33 and a half kilos on their own. So you can roll them around. Now that's without J hooks and spotters. That's why these are not cheap. So a pair of these squat stands weigh in at 67 kilos. That's just the frame. That's heavier than some power racks minus their J hooks and spotter arms. The uprights are numbered, which is really handy because there's 28 hole positions in total. The best part, this is where we separate the ATX stands from the competition. When we go through the add-ons, probably the best one you can get your hands on would be this handy little um, connecting brace. This can connect the squat stands high, low, any position that you want. Now it's for stability, or as you saw before, you can do chin up. Now you can bolt it with a traditional nut, or it's got these handy little screw lock that you can use by hand to get them on and off really quickly. Now the extra support provided by the brace combined with the weight of the squat stands, will give you the equivalent of a half rack. I know a lot of people, and myself included, have reservations about using squat stands. However, when you combine the weight of these plus add on the brace, it's going to be more stable than a cheap half rack. Now, the ATX squat stands accept the range of power rack attachments. It's not just your, your J hooks and, and um, spotters. As you can see, there are more exotic attachments that we can add on. And basically we ran out of room, but if you need to do seal rows, you can attach ATX utility seat across here to the spotter arms. Now, if the seal rows aren't quite hitting the sweet spot, maybe rows on an angle would be better. You could add the bridge support pad if you want to add some leg exercises, you can add the belt squat attachment, which can be added to the um, upright or even the uh, leg master uh, attachment. Now for power lifters, I've got the roller J hooks on here and the mono lifts. Pretty impressive for just squat stands. Now, Matt from the UK even used his squat stands as a makeshift combo rack in his gym when he had the combo rack uh, in use at a competition. If you have a competition and you need a quick setup and pull down, you can even take the squat stands and use them instead of a combo rack. If bodybuilding is more your style, then you can add on your ATX jammer arms for all your favorite leverage exercises. For people with space constraints, which is um, in Australia right now and many other parts of the world, the cost of putting a roof over your head is just getting out of control. So whether it be a gym or home, often the amount of space that you have is constantly being squeezed. So 
these squat stands just give you the ability to access all these different features in a format where you can roll them in, roll them out and store them using the least space possible. For gyms and personal trainers, these squat stands are ideal for group training or even outdoor training if you want to do some serious lifting. The downside is there is a bit of extra setup time and, and of course they're heavy, but for the right person doing the right thing, the potential savings are just massive. With this option, you know, when you look at it this way, you may be able to get away with a much smaller compact studio or gym. So by spending a bit extra once on your squat stand, you're gonna be saving your rent each week. We're so lucky at the moment to have so many different options for saving space. If you want a, safe, a space saving pull down to go with your squat stands, we have pull downs that you can um, bolt to the wall or alternatively, if you need a portable solution, the Iron Master cable attachment can be wheeled around and put into place as you need it. Now for home users, you can squeeze this power lifting ready rig with all the, the, the bells and whistles that you'd see on a proper power rack into the tiniest spot. On screen, you'll see the SQS 650s, which is the model below these. It is decked out with the, the roller J-hooks, monolifts, spotters, landmine attachment and weight storage. And in the video, the guy is casually throwing up a, a 130 kilo bench press. So you know his setup is not for playing around, he's a serious lifter. Whether it be your home or your gym, if you're looking for something that's rock solid and portable, um, you can still lift heavy. The ATX squat stands would have to be one of the biggest and baddest options around.